Health Care in New Zealand, Wikipedia Audio The health care system of New Zealand has undergone significant changes throughout the past several decades. From an essentially fully public system in the early 20th century, reforms have introduced market and health insurance elements primarily in the last three decades, creating a mixed public-private system for delivering health care. In 2012, New Zealand spent 8.7% of GDP on health care, or US$3,929 per capita. Of that, approximately 77% was government expenditure. In a 2010 study, New Zealand was shown to have the lowest level of medication use in 14 developed countries, and also spent the lowest amount on health care amongst the same list of countries, with US$2,510 per capita, compared to the United States at US$7,290. The Ministry of Health is responsible for the oversight and funding of the 20 district health boards. These are responsible for organizing health care in the district and meeting the standards set by the Ministry of Health. 21 DHBs came into being on January 1, 2001 with Southland and Otago DHBs merging into Southern DHB on May 1, 2010. Structure The boards for each DHB are elected in elections held every three years with the exception of one of the eight board members, who is appointed by the Ministry of Health. The DHBs oversee the 46 primary health organizations established throughout the country. These were first set up in July, 2002, with a mandate to focus on the health of communities. Originally there were 81 of these but this has been reduced down to 46 in 2008. They are funded by DHBs, and are required to be entirely non-profit, democratic bodies that are responsive to their community's needs. Almost all New Zealanders are enrolled in AFO, as there are financial incentives for the patients to become enrolled. The Accident Compensation Corporation covers the costs of treatment for cases deemed accidents, including medical misadventure, for all people legally in New Zealand. The costs are recovered via levies on employers, employees, petrol and vehicle registration, and contributions from the general tax pool. The relatively extensive and high-quality system of public hospitals treats citizens or permanent residents free of charge and is managed by district health boards. However, costly or difficult operations often require long waiting list delays unless the treatment is medically urgent. Because of this, a secondary market of health insurance organizations exists which fund operations and treatments for their members privately. Southern Cross Health Insurance, a non-profit organization, is the largest of these at about 60% of the health insurance market and covering almost a quarter of all New Zealanders in 2007, even operating its own chain of hospitals primary care and medications on the list of the New Zealand government agency Pharmac require CO payments, but are subsidised, especially for patients with community health services cards or high user health cards, emergency services are primarily provided by St. John. New Zealand Charity, supported with a mix of private and public funds. The Northern Region DHBs also use shared services provided by the Northern DHB Support Agency and Health Alliance. These services deliver region-wide health initiatives and shared IT services and logistics. The Canterbury District Health Board has been successful in redesigning services to reduce hospital use. Some of this transformation was precipitated by the 2011 Christchurch earthquake when several healthcare buildings were damaged or destroyed. 
It now has lower rates of acute medical admissions, low rates of average length of stay, fewer readmissions in acute care, fewer cancelled planned admissions and more conditions treated out of hospital. Hospital and specialist care in New Zealand is totally covered by the government if the patient is referred by a general or family practitioner and this is funded from government expenditure. Private payment by individuals also plays an important role in the overall system although the cost of these payments are comparatively minor. Those earning less than certain amounts, depending on the number of dependents in their household, can qualify for a community services card. This reduces the cost of after-hours doctor's visits, and prescription fees, but no longer reduces the cost of visits to a person's regular doctor. Injuries which occur as a result of accidents, ranging from minor to major physical but including psychological trauma from sexual abuse are generally covered by the Accident Compensation Corporation. This may include coverage for doctor's visits and lump sum payments. In 2016, concerns were raised about phantom waiting lists, for people who needed surgery but were not on a waiting list. Research conducted on behalf of the Health Funds Association of New Zealand and the New Zealand Private Surgical Hospitals Association found that out of 280,000 people waiting for surgery, only 110,000 were on an official waiting list and 170,000 had not been placed on a list despite being told they required surgery. Health Funds Association Chief Executive Roger Stiles said of particular concern is the increase observed in overall waiting times which for public surgery is now an average of 304 days. Demographics, Population 4,460, total fertility rate, 2.07, adolescent fertility rate, 27. The following statistics are a sample from the World Health Organization Statistical Information System. The year on which the data were sampled follows the statistic in brackets. Abortion is legal in New Zealand, if certain criteria are met. In general, either the health of the pregnant woman or the fetus must be in jeopardy. Additionally, two doctors must give their consent to the procedure. There were 18,380 abortions carried out in 2007, following a general increase in both the absolute number and per capita rate since 1991. Public versus Private Payment the Pharmaceutical Management Agency of New Zealand was set up in 1993 to decide which medications the government will subsidize. In general, Pharmac will select an effective and safe medication from a class of drugs, and negotiate with the drug manufacturer to obtain the best price. There are approximately 2,000 drugs listed on the national schedule that are either fully or partially subsidized. In a sample of 13 developed countries New Zealand was 13th in its population weighted usage of medication in 14 classes in 2009 and also in 2013. The drugs studied were selected on the basis that the conditions treated had high incidence, prevalence, and slash or mortality, caused significant long-term morbidity and incurred high levels of expenditure and significant developments in prevention or treatment had been made in the last 10 years. The study noted considerable difficulties in cross-border comparison of medication use. Outside the Wellington region, emergency and non-urgent ambulance transportation is carried out by the charitable organization St. John New Zealand. In Greater Wellington region ambulance services are provided by the Wellington Free Ambulance Organization. Access Health Statistics Abortion Medications Emergency Service